Good day everyone, I'm Teacher Dings and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video, we will discuss about finding the area of the sector of a circle. Let us define first the sector of a circle. So a sector of a circle is the region bounded by an arc of the circle and the two radii to the endpoints of the arc. So this is now the illustration of the sector of the circle. We have here the circuit and the shaded region is what we call the sector of the circuit wherein it is bounded by an arc. This is the arc of the circuit and the two radii. So these are the two radii of the circle and this is the arc and then the shaded region is the sector of the circle. Let us discuss now the process on how to determine the area of a sector of a circle. So to find the area of a sector of a circle, we will just get the product of the ratio. The ratio is the measure of the arc over 360 degrees and the area of the circle. So we will just multiply or get the product of the ratio and the area of the circle. Let's have now the steps in finding the area of a sector. Step 1. Determine first the ratio. The ratio that is the measure of the arc over 360 degrees. Second step. Find the area of the circle using the equation A that is the area of the circle, is equal to pi r squared, where r is the length of the radius. Third step, we have, we will get the product of the ratio, which is the answer in number 1, and the area of the circle, which is the answer in step 2. Let's have example number 1. The radius of circle C is 10 cm. If the measure of arc AB is equal to 60 degrees, what is the area of a sector ACB? Step 1, we will determine the ratio. So here, we have the formula in finding the ratio is measure of the arc over 360 degrees. In the given figure or in the given circle, the measure of the arc of the sector is 60 degrees. So we will just substitute the measure of the arc into 60 degrees and then over the denominator of 60 degrees is 360 degrees. And then simplify the greatest common factor of 60 and 360 is 60 and we will cancel degree so 60 divided by 60 is equal to 1 and 360 divided by 60 is equal to 6 so therefore we have the ratio is 1 over 6 next step we have find the area of the circle using the equation a equals pi r squared where r is the length of the radius in the given figure, the radius of circle C is 10 cm. So we will just substitute 10 cm into R. We have first the formula in finding the area of the circle, which is A equals pi R squared. And R will become 10 cm. So we have pi times 10 cm squared. And the square of 10 is 100 and the square of centimeter is centimeter squared. So we have the area of the circle is 100 pi square centimeter. Third step, we will get the product of the ratio and the area of the circle, wherein the ratio is 1 over 6. So this is our answer in step 1, 1 over 6, and the area of the circle is 100 pi square centimeter. That is our answer in step 2. 
So, we will just multiply 1 over 6 by 100 pi square centimeter. So, we have the area of the sector is equal to 1 over 6 times 100 pi square centimeter. And the product of 1 over 6 and 100 pi square centimeter is 100 pi over 6 square centimeter. And we will simplify 100 over 6. The greatest common factor of 106 is 2. We will uh, divide 100 by 2 and the answer is 50. And then 6 divided by 2 is equal to 3. So therefore, 100 over 6 is equal to 50 over 3. So the final answer or the area of a sector ACB is 50 pi over 3 square centimeter. Let's have example number 2. The radius of circle M is 6 cm. This is the radius of circle M which is 6 cm. So if the measure of arc LN, arc LN is 45 degrees, what is the area of a sector LMN? Sector LMN. So the shaded region is the sector LMN. Let us answer now example number 2 for step 1, determine the ratio. So we have here the measure of the arc is 45 degrees and we will divide 45 degrees by 360 degrees. So first is we will cancel the degree and then we will determine the greatest common factor of 45 and 360. So, the greatest common factor of 45 and 360 is 45. So, 45 divided by 45 is equal to 1. And 360 divided by 45 is equal to 8. So, therefore, the ratio is 1 over 8. For step 2, we're going to find the area of the circle using the equation a equals pi r squared where r is the length of the radius in circle m the radius of the circle is 6 cm or the length of the radius is 6 cm so we will just substitute the value of r in the formula a equals pi r squared into 6 cm so we have a equals pi times 6 cm squared. Next step is we're going to determine the square of 6. So the square of 6 is 36. That is 6 times 6 equals 36. And the square of centimeter is square centimeter. So we will multiply 36 square centimeter by pi. So the area of the circle is 36 pi square centimeter. Next step, we're going to get the product of the ratio and the area of the circuit. So the ratio is 1 over 8. That is our answer in step 1. And the area of the circuit is 36 pi square centimeter. We will just multiply 1 over 8 by 36 pi square centimeter. So we have the area of the sector is equal to 1 over 8 times 36 pi square centimeter. Next is we're going to multiply 1 over 8 by 36. And the product is 36 pi over 8 square centimeter. And then next step is we're going to determine the greatest common factor of 36 and 8. The greatest common factor of 36 and 8 is 4. So, 36 divided by 4 is equal to 9. And 8 divided by 4 is equal to 2. So, 36 over 8 is equal to 9 over 2. So, therefore, the area of the sector ACB is 9 pi over 2 square centimeter. Let's have example number 3. The radius of circle B is 5 cm. If the measure of arc AC is 90 degrees, what is the area of sector ABC? 
Step 1, we're going to determine the ratio. The measure of the arc in circle B is 90 degrees. So we have the measure of the arc over 360 degrees is equal to 90 degrees over 360 degrees. So first is we're going to cancel degree and then we will determine the greatest common factor of 90 and 360. So the greatest common factor of 90 and 360 is 90. So 90 divided by 90 is equal to 1 and 360 divided by 90 is equal to 4. So therefore, 90 over 360 is equal to 1 for it. So the ratio is 1 for it. Step 2, we're going to find the area of the circle using the equation A equals pi r squared, where r is the length of the radius. In circle B, the radius is 5 cm, or the length of the radius of circle B is 5 cm. So we will just substitute the value of r in the formula, and we have A equals pi times 5 cm squared. Next is we're going to get the square of 5. The square of 5 is 25. That is 5 times 5 is equal to 25. And the square of centimeter is square centimeter. And we will multiply 25 square centimeter by pi. So the area of the circle is 25 pi square centimeter. For step 3, Get the product of the ratio and the area of the circle. So the ratio is 1 fourth and the area of the circle is 25 pi square centimeter. In step 3, we will multiply 1 fourth and 25. So we have the area of a sector is equal to 1 fourth times 25 pi square centimeter. We will multiply 1 fourth by 25 so we have 25 pi over 4 square centimeters. So here, um, the greatest common factor of 25 and 4 is 1. So therefore, this will be the final answer. 25 pi over 4 square centimeter. Let's have an activity. So in number 1, we're going to solve for the ratio wherein we have circle Y. And the measure of the arc of the sector is 50 degrees. We will determine the measure of the arc over 360 degrees. So what would be the ratio of the sector of the circuit? Is it A, 5 over 72, B, 5 over 36, C, 10 over 72, or D, 10 over 36? And the answer is B, 5 over 36. Next, we're going to solve for the area of the circle. So still, we have circle Y. And the measure or the length of the radius of circle Y is 8 meters. What will be the area of the circle? Wherein we have the formula A is equal to pi r squared. Is it A, 64 pi meter squared? B, 16 pi meter squared, C, 64 pi meter, or D, 16 pi meter. Determine the area of the circuit. And the answer is A, 64 pi square meters. And for number 3, Solve for the area of the sector, wherein the formula in finding the area of a sector is measure of the arc over 360 degrees times pi r squared. Let us consider circle Y. The measure of the arc of the sector is 50 degrees and the length of the radius is 8 meters. So we're going to solve for the area of the sector. Is it A, 64 pi over 50 square meters, 
p 32 pi over 25 square meters c 4 pi over 25 square meters or d 80 pi over 9 square meters what will be the area of the sector And the answer is D, 80 pi over 9 square meters. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.